Welcome back to Magic's Monologue. I just want to share a quick thought with you, so I guess this makes this quick and dirty number 11. In the realm of love, some pursue the alluring yet elusive flame of avoidant partner drawn to the thrill of the emotionally detached bad boy who ignites the desire but cannot offer true intimacy. These women chase only to later decry failed unions seeking solace in the mantle of victimhood rather than accepting accountability for their choices. Women's mistake is the belief that they can change the avoidant male, cautions Christina Hoff Summers, her candor unwavering. Yet still, the siren song of emotionally aloof seduces many, overshadowing the truth with intoxication of passion. Studies reveal that 57% of college-age women admit attraction to cavalier mates while a mere 15% of avoidant men crave such temptuous affairs. Camille Pagula's words cut deep. If civilization had been left in female hands, we would still be living in grass huts. A harsh assessment? Perhaps. But one that underscores the weight of women's decisions in shaping the course of their relationships. Though men's share of responsibility in this interplay, they rarely pursue companions lacking in nurturing qualities. More commonly, it's women who pine for the detachment, only to find themselves mourning the frostbitten state of affection. Wendy Elroy laments, women's movement has encouraged women's dependency, despite its rhetoric of autonomy, a paradoxical path embracing victimhood, comforting embrace while ensuing the very liberty they crave, passing judgment on men while abdicating personal responsibility. In the end, we must own our own quests, hopes, and fantasies enacted in amorous adventures. Only then can we build bonds of care trust and honesty, lasting unions to be compacted. For those who choose to stay with an avoidant partner, the dreams of true intimacy is forsaken, and the compromise is wholly one-sided, a means of reducing conflict to tolerate proportions rather than engaging in endless frustration. If deep intimacy is desired, one must refuse to settle for someone who's incapable of giving it. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell, and share this video with at least two friends. I want your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, Send the whole story and the link just in case it's not there by the time I get to it. Email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out my memes, or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, give them a thumbs up, a comment, share them, which helps me create more content.